Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you how to use Desmos to graph a piecewise function. In our guided examples, you've seen an example like this, where you were given a piecewise function in two pieces. Here are the formulas for the two pieces, and over here are where those pieces are valid. I'm going to go ahead and create this inside of Desmos and then play with the graph a little bit. So to get to Desmos, you're going to have to make sure you're at desmos.com and then hit the Start Graphing button. I'm going to go ahead and type in the formula here. It was I parentheses of D equals, and now when you do a piecewise function, you need to start it with a curly bracket off your keyboard. Now I'm going to type where this particular piece is defined. Remember it said 0 is less than or equal to D is less than or equal to 10,000. So I'll type 0. The less than or equal to is right here. Capital D less than or equal to 10,000. Now I'll type a colon and now the formula for that particular piece, which was 0 0.02 times d. Simple as that. So now that the first piece is in, I'm going to go ahead and type comma, and now I'm going to define the second piece of the formula in the exact same way, except this piece said d greater than 10,000. So I'll start it out d greater than 10,000, Type in the colon off the keyboard, and now I'll put in the formula. 0 0.02 times 10,000 plus 0 0.04 times in parentheses d minus 10,000 and the parentheses. So what you'll see here is I have where that piece is valid, what its formula is, a comma, where the piece is valid, and then over here the formula. So I'm going to hide this a little bit so I can see what's going on. This particular one went from 0 to way above 10,000. I'm not going to expect to see very much in a window that goes from negative 10 to 10. So let me go up to my monkey wrench. I'm going to type that this one goes from negative 100 to 15,000 and you see that it shoots up pretty fast here so let's go ahead down below and say maybe negative uh, 5 and let's try 100 here so it's still going off the screen here so it looks like we need to go even higher so I'll go ahead let's try 200. Now if I'm having a hard time seeing what's going on here, then maybe I need to just zoom out a little bit. Ah, but now when I zoom out, I can see the little kink there. So this is the first piece from 0 to 10,000, and this is the piece up here that's greater than 10,000. So maybe I'll go ahead and adjust it a little bit, and perhaps I only needed to go out to 15,000. We'll make that adjustment. And now that's a pretty good looking graph. You can see the first piece on there and the second piece. The thing to keep in mind here is if you have more pieces, you're going to need to put in more sections to this. So you'd have to do another comma here and then type in that piece with the where it's valid first, a colon, the formula, and then if you have any more pieces, you put a comma after it. 